Welcome back to your favorite channel, Deaver Vision. Vacation Friday, pouring up an ice cold, frosty Miller Lite. Mmm. Set that right there. We're getting ready to do some ribs on the grill because we don't have a smoker yet. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. And. I just had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day about brands of ribs and things. Well, these are called Smithfield, and it's not my favorite brand. Yeah, they were $12 for these. I don't know if that's on sale or not, but I'm going to show y'all how I do it and get them prepared up and get them ready for the grill. I'm gonna put them in here because I don't want that juice and whatnot going everywhere. I got salt and pepper. You can use whatever brand you want, but I got Sweet Baby Ray's right here. Naturally, got my liquid smoke and wash your sister sauce here, half and half. Got my bacon. You can use a half a pack or a whole pack, whichever you prefer. And once again, this here. I bought this in a pinch. I like using different kinds. It's made by Weber, it's dry rub, it's smoky brown sugar. It's not too bad, but where I live at, we're limited. Kind of what the best they had at the grocery store that I went to, so. I don't love it, but it, but it's okay. One to 10, personally, I'll give it about a five or a six. You can use whatever you like. And this here, I'll use this for a dipping sauce. It's um, bourbon peach barbecue. Got my apple juice, off-brand of course, great value, because most of the stuff we buy. Yeah, the bacon is off-brand too. I think it's, I don't even know what it is, Kroger brand or something. Got my aluminum foil, paper towels, got my gloves. Let me cut this open right quick. There we go, slice that on down. Actually, I'm gonna put that right in the sink because I'm gonna rinse it off. Use your elbow. That's what I do, use my elbow. I'm gonna contaminate everything. Let them sit there just a second. Grab my paper towels here. Don't be shy, get you a good layer of them. Put them down like yonder right there, fit. I put a meat side down, bone up, and I get some more paper towels, and I will thoroughly pat them, pat them down real good. That's what I do, how I do it. Get them real dry. I know summer's here and it is hot, hot, hot. It's like 90 degrees outside. That's why I'm inside. I'm on vacation. Did I mention that? Did I forget to tell y'all I'm on vacation? Woo wee. First one of the year. First one on the, on the books. Yeah, man, got to have them vacations. No trucking for a whole, I think I'm off 11 days, 10 or 11. Anyways, you just keep patting these dry. Yep, all right, now we're gonna get another layer of paper towels here. We're gonna wipe that up. Gonna lay that down there. You can get them as dry as you want. I like mine real dry, really dry. I'm no expert, I'm no pit master, none of that stuff. I just do them how I do them. You gotta get that membrane off there, that skin. Sometimes it comes off easy on one end or the other. You just gotta find, find your mark where you want it to start at. That's what I do, I use a piece of paper towel because it lets you grab that skin really good. Grab that skin. Just like that, take that skin and just peel it on off, just like so. Roll that up, that's out there, roll it, roll it, roll it. Just grab, pull, just like so. All right, now we got everything all dried up. We're gonna put it bone down, and now you get whatever kind of seasoning you want here. Use all you want, heavy or light. I like mine kind of, kind of heavy. Put it on there, heavy, heavy, heavy. Some people use mustard for a binder and all that stuff. I've heard of people marinating these all night. I tried it, somebody told me about 
uh, Wild Cherry Pepsi. And it is, it is pretty good, it is. But for me, it's kind of sweet. I'm gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna uh, pour it on. Can't add too much. I'm trying to get rid of this anyways, because like I said, it's, it's good, but it ain't my fave. Just pack it on, push it down, pack it in. I'll get it fully covered, even in all the crevices. Then right when you think there's enough on there, add some more. Then we take our bacon. I'll even do this. I'll add a little bit of pepper on it. Just a little dab of doo a little pepper. Not too much. A little salt. Then you take your bacon. Just wrap it up. I ain't wrapping it, I'm just layering it over the top. Put that bacon over the top. Can't put too much bacon on it either. Ain't no such thing. We got the bacon on there. We're gonna add some more of this on there. We're gonna put some more on it. Put some more on that on the top, just like so. Yep, let me come over and get you guys. We're gonna continue this here in just a little while down on the down on the grill. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Don't go nowhere. All right, ladies and gents, we're back again for round two. We're down at the grill. We're getting her all fired up. We're gonna put her on low, low as I can go. Well, I'm sure trying to make this poor old grill last uh as long as i can i guess but we're getting ready to break down and buy a new one because she's about on her last leg and i'm gonna scrap this one or give it away we're getting ready to put this big old slab of meat on the grill got the bacon on it seasoning spiced up we're gonna slap her on there real nice give her a spritz down hose down with the uh liquid smoke and wash your sister sauce did i mention did i give a shout out to my old buddy that i love listening to on the radio mr mr dwight whitten i'm gonna tag him in this video i went and seen a acdc tribute band some years ago and i got this shirt and i thought it was the coolest thing i put it in the closet and i've totally forgotten about it so this shirt's about seven or eight years old so, anyways, I just thought, I thought it was a cool shirt. We're getting ready to put these dudes on here very, very carefully, ever so gingerly. We're going to put them on there like so. Place them on there like that. Got everything down on low. But it's still hotter than the devil out here. It's about 90 degrees out. There she is. Got a couple... Whoa, don't do that. Couple of baked taters. We're going to put everything on low. We're going to leave it on here for about, let's fix that piece of bacon. We don't want him hanging off. All right, got the bacon all laced on there, seasoned up. We're going to leave that on there for about, about an hour. Then I'll be back for the next process. So y'all hang tight. Don't go nowhere. And I'll see y'all real soon. I almost forgot. We're going to use our great value off-brand apple juice send to the spray bottle because that's what we that's what we do about that much that ought to do put our apple juice in the old spray bottle and give her a spritz or two every now and again give her a once over with the old spritz of Rooney hell we'll even spray the baked potatoes we'll make the foil smell like it we'll see y'all back here in just a little bit all right here's my second step that i do since i don't have a smoker this is what i do i put it on some aluminum foil just like so and then i think they call it that three two one method but i put it in foil make it kind of like a a bowl here Oh, 
Wrap this up. Put it in a bowl. Maybe some more foil here. this by chance here. We're gonna put that right there like so. Don't try this at home, kids. This is probably gonna hurt. So, we're gonna, we're gonna bring, yep. Look at that. Just like so. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it again. Get it just like that. And you gotta fold them edges there. You'll see why in a minute. We're gonna close it in. Throw them corners. You don't want nothing to leak out of it. That's that's what we're shooting for. And then I'll show y'all what we're gonna do real quick. Hang tight. What is he doing? What is that maniac doing? He ain't no kind of cooker. He needs a he needs a smoker. That's what he needs. You're right. You're right. I do need a smoker. But right now. Right now, it ain't in the budget. Put it on credit. Put it on credit card. Put it on credit. Everybody's got credit. We're gonna take some good old great value apple juice. We're gonna pour it down in there like so. We're gonna fill her up on both sides. Probably about two cups, something like that. It ain't gotta be perfect, you know. One, one, two cups, not like that. And then we're gonna get our oil out again and we're gonna cap her off. Yep. We're, gonna, we're gonna cap her off. And we're gonna put her back on. Got her in encased in oil. A whole bunch of uh apple juice in there, probably about two cups worth. And now we're gonna put her in there just like so on the grill for another hour, about an hour, hour and a half. It's gonna fall right off the bone. So we'll be back in just a little bit. I'll see y'all soon. All right, we gotta put some Nathan's hot dogs on. I forgot. We're gonna put them Nathaniel's hot dogs on there. We're gonna cut that open just like so. Oh, them hot dogs and Nathan's. Yeah, they dogs. Anyways, we got those Nathan's dogs on there, and we are gonna come back in just a little bit. All right, we're back. Hotter than the devil out here. We got the fan out here. We got the big, big cooler fan, and we're getting ready to go to the next phase here. I think it's like 92 out here, but it feels like it's 102. Standing over this grill. We're gonna try to slap these off here. We got moving, moving potatoes. I think they are done. Get ready to put these. Oh, we're gonna take them off just like so. Gotta get them out of there, out of that foil. Somehow, without getting burnt, we're gonna try to. Oh, look at that, look at that. We're gonna give it the old knife test here. Yep, they seem, they seem tender. They are just about ready. We're gonna put that there for a second. Ooh, that's hot. That is too hot. Hold on, guys and gals. All of you like bacon and uh, ribs. I know you do. We gotta try to get this off here without tearing them up. We're gonna slide that right up under you under like that. that over the top. Let me get rid of the pearl. Oh, the dog's gonna love that. He is gonna love it. Look, here he comes, look. There you go. Check that out. Hot, ain't it? Sully, it's hot. Cleanup crew. Got them ribs of smoldering. Here we go. We're getting ready to put the final touches on it. We're gonna put some sauce on it. Whoa, look at that. See, some of y'all may have noticed and some of y'all may not have, but 
Y'all are thinking, oh man, he put dry rub on it. I put dry rub and sauce on it. So y'all are more than welcome to do it too. I'm probably not the only one, but that's how I do it. Y'all stay tuned. It's almost ready, and I'll see y'all here in a few minutes. There's the baby chicks. They're not babies no more. I turned the burners off, and we're just letting it rest. Here we go. We're going to do this finish-up video. Look, it is hot and sunny, 90 degrees, and it's like tropical weather. It is pouring down, raining, like sunny. Sunshine and rain. Welcome to Kentucky. Show y'all what we're working with right here. Me old, got me old trusty knife and fork here. It ain't even cutting, it's just pulling. It's just pulling. Got that piece right there, old plug. Dogs are snorting at me. We're gonna see how easy it pulls apart. I'm gonna show y'all. Just that easy. Super easy. Ain't chewy, that's, that's wonderful. That is so good. You reach up and slap your grandmama's wig right off top of her head. I mean, the dust to go boop. Look, check it out. There, there you have it, finished product. Got the bacon tender, cooked the, uh, basically steamed in apple juice. Glad y'all got to see me again. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share and comment, and we'll see you on the next one.